thank you and good afternoon. Um, at about 2.50 p.m. on Tuesday the 21st of December, uh, police were called to the Windfield Rubbish Tip or the Rubbish Complex, uh, following a call from staff where they've actually located a male um, person deceased amongst the rubbish. As a result of that, a police have attended uh, the Wingfield tip and conducted an investigation which has led them back to an address at Ladder Street at Hectorville. Uh, subsequent to that, police have charged a 44-year-old male from that address with murder. Um, we do want to highlight to people, please, this is not a random attack. It appears the two males lived at the same address and are known to each other. Um, but as in, in any case, we're seeking uh, any assistance from the public, uh, any information or any CCTV or anything in the vicinity of Ladder Street, Hectorville, please uh, contact us at uh, Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Do the police know how we died at this point? At this stage, it's a preliminary investigation and uh, post more will be conducted, so we don't have that information. Were they just housemates? Uh, we believe they lived in the same premises. Any further arrests they made, just the one so far? It's only one person at this stage. Are you looking at any other, do you believe that anyone else was involved? Uh, at this stage, we only believe one person. Has anything been found as a result of the um, Officers are conducting a further search through the rubbish um, just to see whether there's any additional evidence uh, or anything to support what's occurred um, as a matter of course to make sure we're very thorough. Do you know if there's any foul play involved in this? Obviously it was a murder, but do we know if it was blacky related or any organised yeah. crime? We don't believe that it's anything related to organised crime or anything of that nature. Um, we don't know the motive, uh, nor understand that at this stage of the point of the investigation. But certainly not, don't believe it's camera. Right. So is it too early to say that any weapons or anything been found involved in this at all? Again, uh, just due to the state of um, the investigation, can't disclose or understand at the stage whether weapons are or not. The police know when he with his body was dumped there, is that? And I look, that's part of the investigation is to work out exactly and working with the uh, waste management services in regard to exactly the time frames for a rubbish truck when it may have deposited, uh, and then obviously about when um, they may have disturbed that pile of rubbish that may have revealed or disclosed to us the evidence of the body being there. So you're still looking at days, weeks, what are we sort of Couldn't take. Have you seen the wheel bin from the home, the green wheel bin? Uh, we're looking at all evidence um, in regard to uh, rubbish bins that have, that have been moved, yes. It was quite a quick turnaround in regards to finding the body and the alertness. Can you just tell us about that? that was... I'd just like to say it's actually very good investigative work. It's actually led us immediately, but that's working with Integrated Waste Services, the management company that run and operate that along with the council type waste trucks and actually understanding the movements of vehicles in regard to um, where and how it's deposited at the rubbish tip that's actually assisted the investigators. So it was simply that, not anything on the victim that led detectives to that event? I'm not sure of that at this stage, but certainly we've worked with the, uh, the waste management company to actually assist us to bring us back to a point. Do we, do we know how the staff happened to come across that body? It simply appears that it's been exposed in the rubbish um, as they're moving rubbish around. The men charged with murder, was he known to police? Uh, no, at this stage, um, I can't comment much on the on the background of the uh, of the suspect. Um, at this stage, I just don't have that information. Did you need anything from the public? Is there Always looking for assistance. There may be somebody that um, has been in the vicinity of Landers, sorry, a bit, but a Labor Street at Hectorville. Uh, anything that they believe or suspect might be suspicious, we're keen to know anything of that nature and they can contact their investigators through the 1800 number uh, and we'll assess the information. But as always, we're open to anything that the public may have or be able to tell us if they have seen or heard in that vicinity. Can you, can you tell us anything more about the relationship between the two men? Did they get along? Did they not get along? Do you know they... Unfortunately, I don't have any of that information other than to say they resided at the same address. Was that like a share? situation or did one of the um, men have the home and rent out a room? Do you know anything about? No, don't know any of those details, I'm afraid. Any more questions? No. Um, I was just going to ask you, are police able to release a photo or an image of the victim at all? At this stage I don't have that, that may be available later on, but uh, at this stage I don't have it. 
as part of the discussion. And family's been notified as well. Family has been notified. When will yeah. police um, be finishing up that, the dump? That when we're actually satisfied with the uh, search all of that to um, the related rubbish, um, so I, mm. I couldn't comment. Can you tell I, us about how big of a job that is? Uh, we've seen that once before in the history of Say Bowl having to search rubbish tips at Wingfield, and uh, it um, by no means is a short event. It's uh, making sure that we actually satisfy and go through all of that the rubbish associated with that particular drop. Um, in this case, it may have been broken up, we don't know, so they'll actually do that, but thankfully, the Waste services maintain good records that assist us in that area. Do you know, um, can you tell us how many police are there and potentially how long could it be days, weeks? No, I can tell you that it's the investigators are working at the scene from a number of sections and I, I do hope that they won't be there for long at all, but I couldn't comment. I don't know. So they're looking for what exactly can you? Any form of evidence that supports what we're investigating um, that, that, that can actually lead us uh, or, or assist us in our investigation. So just to clarify, you don't know when the bin went out? which was where his body was inside that was used? Yeah, we don't know. I know, I think you asked this before, but just about the condition of the victim when he was found, can you tell us anything about that at all? Yeah, unfortunately, the victim was in a slightly decomposed state, which made it some things difficult. But again, uh, a post-mortem will uh, uh, assist us to establish, hopefully, the time of death and uh, date. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ella.